Photon can be used for running containers in the data center, in public clouds, or on a developer's laptop. It also works great with VMware Fusion and HashiCorp Vagrant. Let's take a look at how easy it is for a developer to pull down a pre-configured Vagrant box for quick access to popular container runtimes such as Docker and Rocket from CoreOS. Begin by creating a Vagrant file using the Vagrant init command with the name of the Photon box. This tells Vagrant how to fetch the required Photon image and prepares an easy-to-use development environment. Next, we use Vagrant up to kick things off. Behind the scenes, Vagrant is starting up a VMware Fusion virtual machine, preparing Photon, configuring networking, and adding an SSH key for authentication. Once the VM is ready, it's easy to use the familiar Vagrant SSH command to connect. Upon logging into the Photon instance, let's take a look at the disk footprint by running the DF command. Less than 400 megabytes used. Not too bad. The first container runtime we will show is Rocket from CoreOS. Before we can do anything interesting, we need to trust the GPG key that CoreOS uses to sign packages. By storing this in a local keychain, we can be assured the containers downloaded through Rocket are authentic and signed by CoreOS. Next, we will use a quick one-liner to create an environment variable to store an IP address of our Photon instance. This will come in handy later. Now we can use the RKT command to pull down a container by using sudo to invoke the RKT run command. We decided to show etcd, a distributed key value store, in this demo to create an instance called VMware-CNA. Rocket passes some network configuration parameters, finds, and after validating, downloads the etcd ACI image. With the download complete, RKT launches the instance and configures the etcd and RAF services on the appropriate interfaces and addresses. In order to make this easier to follow, the terminal window is now split horizontally. The bottom half of the screen is a shell on the local development laptop, while the top part shows what is happening inside the Photon VM and Rocket container that are running etcd. First, on the development laptop, we'll store the IP of the Vagrant VM and port of the etcd service as an environment variable. The etcd ctl client utility running on the laptop will read this environment variable to learn the location of the etcd service endpoint. Since etcd is a key value store, let's demonstrate that it is functioning correctly within the container by remotely setting a key named vmware-cna with the value rocks from the etcd ctl client running on the laptop. We can then list the keys stored in etcd and get the value for vmware-cna as expected. Now, we'll exit the local shell and kill the Rocket container running inside Photon. Of course, Rocket is not the only container runtime we support on Photon. Let's also take a quick look at how a Docker container works. With the Docker daemon running, first we will pull down a demo container from the Docker Hub that runs the classic Unix utility, Fortune. Next, we use the docker run command to execute the container. Works perfectly, just as expected. That takes you back, doesn't it? Finally, we can wrap up this container runtime demonstration by logging out a Photon, checking the Vagrant status, and cleaning up with the destroy command.